Hey guys, here I am with something a little bit different again. I'm always up to you know, trying new things on this channel. I just don't want to do the same thing over and over. Uh, a few months ago, I did a video on I don't feel like a gamer anymore. I had a lot of response to that. And there was a one comment from Do You Nerd. Now, they're a wonderful couple, uh, Amish couple from America. Uh, Tom, who left a really cool... They're not Amish, okay, I'm just joking. But Tom left a really cool uh, comment and it did trigger this little spark in my mind to do this video. What he said in that video, just a little, little bit of it, most of your games likely have a story tied to them and how and why you got them. Maybe even what was going on in your life. That was a, a brilliant response because you know I've got a collection here and surely with most of this stuff there is a story tied to it so i thought okay let's just run my finger along say this shelf here because there's a bit of a mix here and see if see if i can tell a story of the game that i pick out i'm just going to randomly stop pick out a game and galleon wow one of the few the first games i got on the um, original uh, xbox i remember this this is new and sealed by the way i had to rebuild this collection again <clears throat> made by the toby guard who was the creator of lara croft and that was the main reason why i got this game because i was a big fan of lara croft tomb raider back then and um yeah it was an instant classic 92 percent it was a great uh pirate game uh the mechanic game mechanics and it was really cool so yeah that's a great game actually i didn't mind that one at all so it's, you can see how this is going to work. I'm just going to run my finger up and down this, this list and, of games and pull out something. <sighs> Blue Dragon, one of my favorite games on the Xbox 360. One of the few games that Microsoft made for the Japanese market, which ultimately failed. They, they tried the darnest to, um, to crack that uh, Japanese market, especially with RPGs. But what we got here was an incredible RPG, which I really liked and was one of the main reasons, I think, for getting the Xbox 360 was because I heard about this game and I knew who was involved in making it. So yeah, as you can see, there are stories behind every game. Maybe, maybe not, but I don't know. We'll see what we're going to stop at next. Don't pick the same game out again. Blinks, I got that because it was new and sealed. I haven't played it yet. It was a part of a deal with four, four games, so I, I don't know much about that game. That one didn't go too good, did it? But let's just try another one. But um, yeah, it's just interesting. Batman, oh, after years of waiting for a decent Batman game, here it is. That's all I can say about that. There's no other story to it. I just, I just love playing it and uh, I recently picked this up really cheap. So yeah, that one wasn't too good, was it? But you can see what happens. There, there is a story behind every game that we have in our collection. I think there could be, or mostly would be. Mario Galaxy, now, wow. Um... I didn't get back into Nintendo until the Wii U and I heard so many great things about Mario Galaxy. Even though it plays in, I think, just 520 standard editions, not in 1080, it is a great game and it was a game I would love to see get remastered. I bought this along with uh, uh, Mario Galaxy 2 off eBay, a really good deal. So, so yeah, I did enjoy this game, remaster would be great, I wouldn't mind that one to be remastered. Such a cool game. Um, let's try maybe two more and that's it. Let's try down this end. Try down this end. I don't know. Ah, always like a good um, zombie game. Getting ready, ready for the zombie apocalypse. Which is coming in 2024, I believe. Uh, Dead Island. It's not too bad. I didn't mind it. Uh, again, this was going pretty cheap. That's why I got it. Uh, I did like it. But it's just another zombie game, which I played a lot of zombie games over the years, you know. And seriously, I'm thinking they're getting us ready for something. There's a, a poppy that's coming for sure. Maybe just do one more, because this is really dumb, isn't it? But now, as you can see, there is a story behind each game. I am a massive uh, fan of Egypt. Uh, I've been to Egypt back in 2003, a lifelong dream since I was a kid to go to Egypt. And any game that would come out that was Egyptian theme based, I just had to grab it. And this is one of the better ones, uh, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy on the original Xbox. It looks so great on there. I love the whole 
take on the Tutankhamun and the mummy story. I, I think Anatan is in there and Imhotep, all that sort of stuff. All those characters, all, that, all those, you know, real Egyptian characters I do know. Uh, what was really cool about this game, I think it was last year, it was remastered, or, or, yeah, re, re-released on the Nintendo Switch. I, think, I wouldn't call it a full-on remaster. It looks pretty much the same as the Xbox version. But if you can get this one, it is a great game. I really did enjoy that one so much. So maybe just one more. One more along the shelf and that's it. But there seems to be a story to most of the stuff that I have I can talk about. Man, I used to love the Crash Bandicoot games on the original PlayStation. I kind of didn't think anything more of it because after the PlayStation 2 came out and all that sort of stuff, PlayStation 3, um, <clears throat> Naughty Dog, they would move on to do bigger and better things with that series. I did know about this game, uh, made by Sierra, uh, but I didn't know how good it was until, I don't know, I just guess I saw it going really cheap and I thought I would take a chance on, on this game, along with the other one, there's another one here, um, which is really good as well. I think Mind of, a, Mind of a Mutant. So both of these games is really cool. Uh, I took a chance with this one, got it, and I actually loved it. And so I ended up getting this one, and they are great games. Um, probably better than the original uh, Crash Bandicoot games. I just found them really, really hard on the original PlayStation. So there you go. There is a story behind most of this stuff I've got, just some random games I picked out, and I was able to tell a little bit about it, a little bit of history maybe, I don't know. But yeah, with a collection like this, I guess, Tom, you're right. I can p pull out a game and there's a story to it. I'm trying to hunt down the uh, TAC 3, it's impossible. I got TAC 1 and 2, I think. Or maybe I only got TAC 2. I'm trying to get 1 and 3, I guess. Great little game. I love the platform games on the Xbox. They were so cool back then. We, uh, yeah. But yeah, there it is. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, that was a little bit weird, maybe. I don't know, but, you know, maybe somebody else, if you've got a nice collection, maybe try this yourself and just go to your, to your bookshelf or whatever, pull out a game and see if there is a story you can tell because I'm sure there is. Hey, guys, uh, see you later. Um, yeah, need to try and hunt down 1 and 3, which I'll do by myself. I don't need anybody help. I can, don't need people giving me games. I can track this one down. I hope one day. Hey guys, see you next time. Bye.